in today's tutorial i'm going to show you a very exciting tutorial i'm going to show you how to create an colorful animated intro slide as you can see here i have just filled the slide with a uh, different uh, color rainbow kind of things here you can see a uh, different color combinations and i've just put my message here now what happens is when i click the animations comes and then whatever the image or the text which is behind of this colorful rectangles will reveal so let me just show you now when i click you can see here i've just added one image of dubai here and then i just put some welcome message you can just change any message of you want or you can just change the image also for example i have just made one more slide where when i click you can see here you can just add any images also okay you can add your own images okay or any a company buildings or whatever you feel and then i have made one more where you can see here i have just added uh, this image so depending on your requirement you can just uh, change the image and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i have used office 2019 version to do this and uh, if you're using the older version i i don't think there should be any problem with that one so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to fill this slide with uh, rectangles uh, for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles select the rectangle draw the rectangle from the top to bottom of the slide shape outline make it no outline and the height uh, it should be same 7.5 but the width i need to make it 0.48 all right now what I need to do is I just need to duplicate this okay and then I have to fill the whole slide so for this I can just I can do a press ctrl D to duplicate or I can just simply ctrl and shift hold together and then just add one thing like this one by one you can see here ctrl shift make sure that there should not be any gap all right so you can see here I'm just going to keep on adding one by one make sure that you have to hold the control and shift together and then just drag it so I'm just going to drag one by one you can see here let me just complete it quickly and again make sure that there should not be any gap or something like that you have to just keep otherwise a design will look uh, not clean then so let me just complete it so I recommend you to use this method control shift together instead of uh, duplicating again duplicating you need to just adjust it align it so that is a time consuming job so this one you can see here not even a minute it took me to complete this all right and this is the last one it doesn't matter if it somewhat goes outside now i have filled the whole thing uh, with the the tiny rectangles then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select each rectangle and depending on my color requirement or my choice of colors i can just choose any color right so let me just go to fill here and i can just choose any color okay so you can see here either you can make one shade whatever shade which you feel better you can just keep on adding one by one you can see here you can just make it somewhat darker and then again you can choose a different color combination could be so different different color combination depending on your requirement you can just add it so let me just complete the whole coloring process so you can see here i have just completed the filling the colors of my choice or any color of your choice you can just choose it now let me just zoom out a little bit then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all or you can just press ctrl a also to select all and then i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d to duplicate and ctrl g to group it for the time being and then uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to place it exactly on top of this one or I can what I can do is let me just zoom out a little bit and I have to just make sure that it is align center 
and align middle and even though if it is not aligned properly then what we need to do is we have to just go and make sure that this is properly aligned so let me just see whether it is aligned or not i think this is aligned perfectly now okay and then what i'm going to do is i can depending on my requirement i can just reduce or decrease the size of this i'm um, in any manner you want for example i can just reduce it like this or what you can do instead of doing this one first of all what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select whatever is there solid fill and i'm going to fill this with white you can see here it is completely white now now what happened here is now i'm just going to reduce this much from here and this much from here okay so just randomly in different orders i can just choose something like this you can see here i'm going to keep it this one big this one i want to make it somewhat small you can see here i'm just going to do a kind of uh, abstract you can see here the design you can see here but you have to make sure that it is properly aligned or it should not go or increase or decrease the size or the width okay you have to just make sure that one so here let me just make it somewhat bigger for this you can see here let me just do it again yeah and then this one i want to make it very small all right so likewise you just need to change the sizes depending on your requirement or any random uh shapes also you can make it you can see here i'm just going to do it like this so let me just complete it uh with this because it's going to take some time so let me just continue or complete this one so you can see here uh, depending on the requirement i've just increased the or decreased this white rectangles and for the safer side and for my later use i'm just going to duplicate this slide you can see here i've just created one more so now here what you need to do is you have to just select this one and then you need to add any background image or whatever you like to add it you can just add it so you have to just go to picture or texture fill and uh, click on insert and just select from the file and from your local pc or you can just go to unsplash.com and download any uh, good background images or whatever you feel better so you can see here i have added this particular image now just scroll it down you can see here this one the offset uh, settings first of all untick this one rotate with shape all right and then you can see here this is kind of a squeeze or is not looks natural so what i can do is from the offset bottom and offset top so you can see here i can just make it okay so you can just adjust this particular properties all right now what we need to do is uh, first of all you can see here we have added this one the background of rectangles with the different colors and then the same rectangles i've just uh, grouped it and then i have filled this with white and then later on i have added uh, the image here and as i said you can just add any image as you want now what i need to do is i need to cover this up now all right i need to just cover this up so that i have to give the animation for it now how to cover this one it's very simple again again if you want to add the text here before adding any animations that also it can be done so if you see here let me just go to my second slide which i have just duplicated so let me just delete this one for the time being all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all or you can press ctrl a also ctrl i can just group it if i want ctrl g then ctrl c to copy let me just come to my the previous slide and press ctrl v to group it and then exactly i paste it here on this one all right and then let me just go and ungroup this right so you can see here our image is there but it's it's hidden actually okay so it's hidden now what i want to do is i want to do the animation on this particular rectangles which we have just covered with all right so let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane 
now what the animation we need to do is we have to use the animation which is the exit effect not the entrance effects okay because we want this to go or exit and then only the uh, the image which is at the background will reveal all right so what i can do is simply i can just select one by one holding the shift key all right so you can see here because i have ungrouped it make sure that you need to ungroup this otherwise you can see here let me just make it one by one hold the shift key and just select because you cannot just control a because everything will get selected don't do that one right so now add animation go to more exit effects here you can see here you have got different uh, animations so uh, one animation you can use which is collapse you can see here collapse i can just do it or i can just do maybe something else also which one is there so anyway let's let's uh, stick with collapse and click ok now what happens here the collapse if you see the effects here it's coming across what i need is top or bottom so let me just make it all bottom okay so it comes something like this now then I'm just going to select the animation one by one. So instead of top, I'm just going up from bottom. I'm going to make it top. So randomly, I'm just picking and I'm just making it top. All right. So anything which you can, any random, because I don't want, you know, the animation should come always from the, the bottom. So it should zigzag line should come. So let me just play how it looks. So you can see here. Let me just do it more so if i play here how it looks so you can see here it looks something like this you can see here so just randomly also i'm just going to go to the bottom and then i'm just going to make it to the top this is also top so here so I'm just selecting some normal, uh, some random animations here, okay? And then let me just play. When I click, it comes something like this. You can see here, it looks very cool animation. So with this, you can just choose any image. Now the question might come on your mind that, okay, if I want to change the image, then what should I do? So what you need to do is, it's very simple, or what you can do is, you can just go to the home, select selection pane, all right? So what I'm going to do is, again, if I want to, first of all, I'm just selecting all this, you can see here. And then I know, okay, these are the objects which I need to hide it. So I'm just selecting like this, you can see here, all right? And then if I want to just change the image, I can just select this one. And again, for example, let me just go to the format background. Let me just come here. Again, come back to this. Again, click on picture insert and just select any picture of your choice. Now, once you have changed the picture, so let me just, I can just say show all here. All right, so that this is the simplest way you can just change the background image and if you like to add any text also you can just simply add the text on it and if you want to do the animations it's up to you